Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have pink hair and I am so happy. <laughs> Honestly, this was supposed to be a pride makeup look but I don't know when and how it just turned into a drag queen makeup. But whatever, you get the colors and everything, right? So this is like the pride makeup look that I created for the monthly special video for this month. And yeah, I mean it was so much fun doing this look. I know it looks difficult but trust me, this is the easiest look I've done so far. It's just playing around with colors if you guys enjoy playing around with makeup if you enjoy playing with colors then this is the look for you yeah, so without wasting any more time let's just jump in straight to the video let me show you guys how i got this look babies let's begin i am so excited i don't know how it's gonna turn out and everything but fingers crossed okay so let's start with some skin prep uh so i'm gonna be using the Etude House Moist Full Collagen Cream. Um, I've been getting a lot of collagen stuff these days. Like I got a PR package from the face shop that was all collagen and pomegranate. And then this is all collagen and stuff. So a lot of anti-aging skincare happening, ladies. I'm gonna be using a little bit of this cream and apply it on my face. Ah, oh, this smells so good. try my face I'm gonna be using Nykaa's prep me up primer now I don't really remember if I've given you guys a proper review on this primer yet but this is a really good primer in case if you are looking for that pure silicone primer you know it doesn't have a lot of fragrance to it or anything this is just like pure silicone primer I mean it just blurs out everything it gives you a really nice smooth like really nice smooth skin for you to begin your makeup on. I think this is actually one of the most affordable silicone based primers that we have in the market today and which is actually good as well. So I'm just gonna start off by filling in and shaping my brows. So sorry that I missed my last month's uh, monthly special video. It was actually supposed to be my birthday look which I was supposed to shoot in London and then post it there itself but but <laughs> I don't know what happened on my birthday night like I woke up next morning and everything was so hazy like I really don't remember anything about my birthday honestly I thought you know when I get ready it's gonna be like a get ready with me for my birthday kind of a thing and you guys get to see how I did my birthday makeup and stuff but never start your makeup after doing shots is something that I've learned pretty sure you guys must be wondering by now does she even have any other brow filler apart from this to be honest even I don't know <laughs> Do I really have anything else apart from Benefit? Do I? Okay, and now before I move on to my foundation, I'm just gonna quickly uh, do a spot treatment, like color correction on all these spots that I have on my face. I have spots on my face now, guys. So for that, I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. This is in the shade Nude. I use this as my color corrector because this has a little bit of, uh, you know, peach shade in it. This is perfect for my shade, so you don't really have to use like uh, a red or a, you know, orange shade as such. A little bit of peachy shade is just perfect to neutralize all of that redness. I've seen a lot of girls use the blender in the wrong way. Basically, you're not supposed to like push it or do like this you're supposed to just tap it you know just bounce it off your face man otherwise what you're doing is you're just pulling off all of the product that you just put on your face and then you complain that you know the blender is not good and it's just sucking in all of the product and all that so you're just supposed to like very lightly bounce it on your face you know all right so now that we've color corrected our spots now let's move on to the foundation and for foundation today i'm going to be using the kiko milano two in one foundation oh i totally forgot this has a low foot applicator this is so convenient you guys so i'm just gonna apply it on my face this kind of a look i really want my skin to look slightly pale and white so i think this is fine if this is like one shade lighter than my skin tone it's fine and if you think the foundation is looking a little too much, you guys have to trust me. Like by now you should trust me. It's all gonna come together in the end, people. So to highlight my T-zone, I'm gonna be using the Pack Spotlight Concealer. This is in the shade Melon. And I'm just gonna apply very little underneath my eyes. This is a full coverage concealer, guys. This concealer probably has more coverage than my foundation as well. So, yeah. I'm just gonna apply a little bit here because I have like deep set eyes and I have those under eye hollows so I just wanna brighten them up a little and I'm also using the same concealer to conceal my eyelids 
There is so much glue on my lashes, you guys. Like, it all gets highlighted when you put a little bit of powder or concealer on your eyes. Like, it's automatically there staring at you in your face. Like, I take off my makeup properly. Like, I do every step, you know, but there's still some glue left. Even times when after two days of applying makeup, I still have glue left on my lashes. Like, how do you take off all that glue? I'm not going to be doing a lot of heavy contouring on my face today. I'm just going to set all of this in place using a translucent setting powder. And for that, I'm going to be using the Palladios Rice Powder. You guys, this is an amazing translucent powder. Like, what a translucent powder. This is so underrated, but so good. I'm just going to set all of that in place. Alright, so now moving on to highlighter, I'm going to be using Kiko Milano's Glow Fusion Highlighter. This is in the shade 01. Shade 01 is a little too white, like I would prefer, um, you know, my highlighter to have like slightly golden or maybe a rose gold kind of a tinge. So, you know, I can also use it during the daytime. But this is like really white, so, you know, I would only wear it if I'm filming something or if I'm stepping outside during the night, you know, having my full glam on and stuff. So during the daytime, this will be a little too much, I feel. And the brush that I'm using to highlight my face is by Focalure. This is a highlighter brush that came in that brush kit, which was like a set of 10 brushes. It was called Face Brush Kit or something like that. It's available online, you guys. You can check it out. And it's really good quality, by the way. And with that, we're kind of done with the base for now. I'm going to see if we require bronzing and contouring after I'm done with the eyes. And now let's begin with the eyes. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little closer so you can see what's happening on my eye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome James Charles Palette on my channel. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say, but this has everything, you guys. Like, I don't know why, but this palette is it. Like, you know, for me, this is like... You know, if you're like a makeup enthusiast who's into like colors and colorful stuff and experimenting and playing with makeup, then I don't know, man. Like, this has everything. You see, look at that. This has all the shades that I need right now for that colorful rainbow kind of look, right? So you cannot blame me for using this palette again, right? I'm gonna start by using this yellow shade right here and I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner. So I'm not gonna be applying it on the inner corner. I'm gonna just lift it a little bit higher like towards my eyebrow just uh you know not touching my eyebrow as such but just like keeping it inside the socket but i'm gonna pull it outwards and then i'm gonna be using this palette green shade right here and i'm gonna apply it on the inner corners of my eyes and the brush that i'm using to apply both these shades is sigma e38 brush this is a really nice fluffy flat brush i'm gonna make sure that i merge the green with the yellow you don't want the colors to be like isolated you want them to like blend and everything so just make sure that you mix a little bit of yellow with the green then I'm going to take this darker shade of green and I'm going to apply it right here, uh, basically mixing it with the palette green. What we're doing here is basically creating that really nice gradient, rainbowish effect. Now I'm going to take like a combination of these two blue shades right here and I'm going to pop that right after the darker shade of green. Now I'm going to take this purple shade right here and I'm going to use this as my transition shade right on top of the blue that I've used. So now to do the lower part of my eye, I'm going to start off with this orange shade right here. Now I'm going to be using this neon orange and red, like a combination of these two shades and I'm going to just, uh, you know, do my lower part of the eye. Okay, so now we're going to be using the fluorescent pink and I'm going to just blend everything together and use it as my blush as well. But instead of applying my blush from the apples of my cheeks, I'm going to be bringing it down from my eye. So something like that, like a butterfly kind of a thingy. So I've done the other side as well and 
still I want you guys to trust me it's gonna come together in the end just hold on to that faith for a little bit longer you guys I'm gonna be using this Colourpop palette called Chasing Rainbows uh, and I'm gonna use this shade right here to highlight my inner corners and my eyebrows Now I'm just going to apply some mascara on my top and bottom lashes and for that I'm using the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Now to open up my eyes a little and make all of this pop, I'm going to be using this white liner on my waterline. This is by Wet n Wild you guys, this pencil. For my lashes today, I'm going to be using this a pack of lashes that came in PR long back and I completely forgot about it but the lashes are quite exaggerated and they're very dramatic. These will go really well with the kind of eye makeup that I have on me right now. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. They're like very, very, um, you know, big and very, very fluttery. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all these exaggerated pieces and I'm going to apply on my bottom lash as well and then I'm going to apply one... Um, entire set on my upper lash so that way I have like really exaggerated eyelashes guys applying lashes like this is such a pain oh damn come on stay 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 okay this is too long I'm gonna put it here you know what guys, I'm just gonna put the lashes on and be back in a second. It's gonna take me like an hour. I'm back, you guys. Okay, and now it's time for lips. So I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner. This is in the shade 15C. And I'm gonna do like a really nice popping pink kind of a color. Just uh, something that could match uh, with my cheeks. So uh, for now, I'm just gonna line my lips and basically overdraw them a little. For my lips today, I'm going to be using the House of Makeup lipstick. This is a really nice fuchsia pink, uh, which will match my cheeks perfectly. And the shade is called, I think they've not mentioned it here. I'm going to look for the shade and mention in my description box below. Okay, so now is the time to wear the wig. I have been so excited, like the entire look was because of the wig, honestly. Ah, I'm so excited, I've never worn a wig before and uh, um, I don't really know how to do it so I'm just gonna follow the instructions here. Okay, so I'm back with pink hair, you guys, and it was a task to put this wig on. I got this from Amazon. Just two words for this wig, don't buy. This is a very cheap wig, it's only for 800 rupees or something. And yeah, for 800 rupees, this is what you get. I mean, if you have no other option and if you are desperately looking for pink hair, then go for it. Otherwise, I would suggest please stay away from it. And okay, so now it's time to do some body makeup. So I'm just going to put a little bit of shimmer on me. Using the NYX Avevi Glow Drops. And I'm just going to put like two drops on the blender directly. Wow. I feel like such a queen right now, you guys. Just to finish everything off, I'm going to be using the Pack Fixation Spray. And with that, this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this Pride makeup look as much as I enjoyed filming it. If you did, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. With that, it's a wrap for now. I will see you in my next video. Bye!